Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Well, this is a milestone because actually now we are on the massive production of this quail chicks and we're selling this to the market. But what we're selling right now are the RTL, the ready to lay eggs. The adult ones that can already be disposed to our customers and they will enjoy feeding and collecting the eggs that these quails can produce. I would like to tell you that it's my principle to start the business small. I am not dreaming of an instant big business. And this is what happened to our quails. I only started with 19 eggs. I got those eggs from my friend who has a couple of pairs of this uh, quail and, and I asked him if I could buy some eggs from him. And I bought some 19 eggs and this is now the result. Actually, they are already very massive and we can actually harvest more than 1,000 chicks in a week because every three days we are loading 500 eggs of this quail inside the incubator. Let me inspire you about this one because this is really a good business. This will not require a big capital and this will not also require a big space for you to start with this kind of business because our space at home is just very small. We only had this uh, layer cages and we started with 50 breeders and then we added some another 200 and 300 and now we have 2,000 breeders. And I'm so happy to share this with you. Now today what we're going to do is to harvest the chicks from the incubator. And uh, you will see that at my back, you can see plenty of these eggs of the quails. Before we're gonna open this one, let me tell you that in dealing with the chicks of this quail is challenging. Challenging in a sense that they will easily die. If we will put them in a brooding cage or pen that is really cool, meaning there's a big disparity between the temperature of your incubator to the temperature of your brooding pen, they will all die because they will stamp it. They will trample upon each other because it's cool. So I already have told you about this and these are the things that we should watch when we are going to transfer our ticks from the hatcher or from the incubator to the brooding uh, cage. So what you will witness now is this. Wow, you see that? There are plenty. I said we are about to get some 500 chicks fresh from the incubator. You see that? And you will see that they have two colors. There are some that are white and there are some that are brown. And this is already a mixed breed because I have bought some cock from another source, a white one, and this is now the result. We're producing white uh, chicks. So they're active. Now you will see that they are even looking for their food, the first food. And maybe you will ask, Dexter, what's the best uh, first food for the innocent chicks? Well, there are many foods available, but I'm using the, the chick booster. They have the same diet with the chicks, and this has been my practice, and so far so good. We did not encounter any problem about this, and uh, this I can recommend also to you. You will see also that this quail are already three days old, meaning that you have to let them stay here for 72 hours before you're gonna get them out from the incubator. And the reason for this is when you don't have that brooding pen that has the same temperature or almost the same temperature, 38.7 degrees to the brooding pen, then you might as well allow them to stay in the incubator for 72 hours 
after 72 hours, I believe you can already safely transfer them without causing high rate of this casualty. Some of this will be put back there because they are still very wet but those which are already very active will be placed here in this brooding pen and you will see that they are now looking for their food. I will put them here and they will stay here for a couple of days and as soon as they are gonna get big that's the time that we will transfer them again in a bigger space. We cannot allow them to gas for space here inside but you will note that we are actually putting some bulbs and this uh, daylight warm bulb is helping us actually to maintain the high temperature in order for us to ensure that this quail will really not die because this uh, age is very delicate if they will trample upon each other you will have really more casualties. I mean, uh, 30 to 40 percent will really die if uh, we will not secure them in a warm place. There are three basic principles that I have observed in so far as this quail farming is concerned. Number one is the correct ratio between the hen versus the cock. My practice is one cock against five hens. Why? Because this cock will continuously pursue the hen and continuously breed that will result to death of some or if not majority of this uh, hen. The ratio is really very important. If you will overload or overpopulate your cock inside the breeding pen, then that would be a disaster. And number two tip that I can give you, you should give supplements to our breeder quails. We have to give some breeder aid. And this breeder aid are actually available in the market. You can just easily buy this one in any of your local suppliers, your agribet supplies. Here in the Philippines, there are many supplements. It proves to me that it gives us higher hatchability rate. Believe it or not, we have hatched our eggs at the rate of 97 to 98%. Meaning that if we're gonna put inside here 100 eggs in the incubator, 97 or 98 of them will really be hatched. And uh, number three that I can share with you about this uh, you know, quail farming is to secure them in a very exclusive place. You cannot mix them with the chickens. You cannot also mix them with the rabbits. You cannot also mix them with other animals. The noisy environment is actually detrimental to your production of the eggs of the quail. So that's the three basic that so far I have discovered is really working best for us. And I would like to tell you that we already have earned since we started this farming. We already have sold some 2,000 heads of this RTLs and this is priced at 50 pesos that's one dollar so more or less I can safely compute that so far so good we are earning two thousand dollars from the start of this business and that's already a milestone
I have concentrated now in the hatching of these eggs. Actually, all the trays are filled with the quail eggs now. And there are some duck eggs and even the chicken eggs that are about to hatch. But uh, my concentration as of the moment is to produce more chicks because it is very lucrative. I can tell you. In fact, uh, I already have in Philippine money um, earned some 100,000 pesos just for selling these RTLs. And if I will compute the the cost of the feeding, it will not even reach up to 20,000. So we can safely assume that we have gained more than 80,000 pesos. And that's actually 800, uh, something like $1,800, I don't know. But uh, this is really working good for us. And aside from the quails, we're also hatching these eggs of the Japanese koi. I'm so happy with this result because they are plenty right here. In fact, you can already see, I don't know if this is going to be seen by the lens of this camera, but I can see that there are thousands. I estimated this to reach around 30,000 fry. And this is one of the good businesses that we have so far engaged in this uh, production of this Japanese koi and if you can grow that in the mud pan for just a period of one month and you're gonna sell at the wholesale price of maybe five pesos then that's a big money so your capital is just your intelligence your patience and of course the experience will really count that's why I am always sharing this because some of us might have difficulty in landing a good job or finding a sustainable livelihood that will support our family then if you are into this kind of hobby then you can make that as your profitable business endeavor that will somehow give you bright future and you can you know have enough money to spend for your family and uh, I hope that you're encouraged with this video and shout out to the new members to this channel and even to the new subscribers for the month of uh, May we have 20,000 subscribers and welcome to the big family of hobbyists and also those ones who have made comments thanks a lot and I would like to see you in my next video only here at Dexter's World